Hello and welcome. Yes, you are seeing clearly. I have my beginnings of a space station on the moon. Um, it's a little cliche what I named it, but whatever. You can get over that. I can too. Um, it's basically named Moon Lab, okay? So give me a break. Um, I'm not really good at that whole I'm gonna name, you know, name it queer stuff thing. Um, so yeah, I, I basically just put this little module, you know, I did this for a test run to see if, like, even building a station in, around the moon is, you know, even possible as far as, like, you know, my capabilities on my computer and everything, because once you have, like, a huge rocket, it just runs like crap. So, um, yeah, this thing has some, I, this is, like, the leftover moon burn stage for it. And uh, I just couldn't part with it. it. It has too much fuel and too much RCS in it to just jettison it and let it go and smash into the moon um, or wherever it goes. Um, so, yeah, yeah I, I'm pretty happy with this thing. I'm looking at possibly expanding it. But right now I'm just, you know, I've been focusing on moon base and not space station. You guys have seen this in a few other episodes. I haven't really covered it too much. I didn't really care that much with it. But I figured I'd show you guys. You know, once again, I don't like showing off my creations like this. You know, especially something that isn't even, like, remotely close to being done. Even my space station isn't really close to being done. But, um, yeah, my only problem I had with this thing, and I didn't really think about it until after I put it into orbit around the moon, is, uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of battery power um it, it gets into the dark side and for about four seconds it's then the batteries are dead but it's all good it's okay because when once it gets out of the dark side again the bright sunshine makes it all happy um yeah yeah i you know it, overall this thing looks like it's pretty good i'm gonna add maybe a few more modules to it i'm thinking about adding like one of the the hab modules to it or like the storage module of whatever you want to call it i can i consider it like a habitation kind of module that looks something like that one of these i think that's what this yeah yeah one of those it's so dark back here you can't see it maybe i should uh do the right thing here yeah flip around this is the first time i think of yeah i, I basically haven't touched this thing in 36 days um yeah, so I'm probably going to add another one of these. I'm going to load it up with some Kerbins. Um, yeah, I, I'm probably thinking about getting a bunch of them off my space station and putting them on the, uh, either like on the moon or I'll bring them here and then put them on the moon. It, it doesn't really matter to me so much. I just got to figure something out. Um, so yeah, you can see it has insane amounts of RCS. I just, you know, that's like one of the major things that, like, it's always like something minor that you run out of in this game. It's never like, you know, if you always have enough fuel, you always never have enough RCS, or it's always the other way around, or whatever. Um, so I just was like, yeah, as much RCS as I can get. And I, I used a little bit of it by accident. And one thing that this game really needs, like I think I said that on my Space Station episode, is you should be able to group all of these. You shouldn't have to sit there and click on this one and then this when you're transferring fuel. And then to transfer fuel, like this thing has, still has a boatload too. You know, you just hit Alt and uh, in. That one always confuses me. These always confuse me sometimes. I don't know. Um, yeah, so... I know this isn't a really long episode. I don't really plan on it being that long. But, yeah, one of my major things is I want to see what I can do on the moon. That's my, pretty much the only thing I really am interested in is doing as much as I can with the moon first. Then I might move it all to Minmus or I will, you know, see if I can get a station in orbit around Duna. I mean, that would be amazing. I'm sure you guys would love to see, you know, the first stock station around Duna or, um, 
you know, getting a rover down on Duna just to, uh, you know, it's got to be like a curiosity landing, it, you know, it, just to, it, to have a rover around a mo on Duna would be amazing. Um, I don't know as far as, like, the gravity or anything. I don't know if the ion engines would even work on Duna, but it would always, it's always fun to try. Um, everything in this game is just it's, it's so open. Um, I love sandbox games. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next episode.